All right, so let's look at our fourth example. Uh, you have 600 feet of fencing to enclose a rectangular plot that borders a river. If you do not fence the side along the river, find the length and width of the plot that will maximize the area. And what is the largest area that can be enclosed? All right, so over here, we have a river and we want to fence in an area okay. and we're going to have fencing here here and here and there will be no fencing here along the river so we can call this x and this would be x and we'll call this y all right so first thing let's set up an, let's set up an equation with information that's been given to us. So it tells us we have 600 feet of fencing. Okay, So that means the length of this fence plus the length of this fence plus the length of this fence is equal to 600 feet. All right. So that tells us that 600 is equal to x plus y plus x. So 600 is equal to 2x plus y. Alright, now what do we want to maximize? We want to maximize the area. The area. We want the biggest, the largest area possible. So what's the equation for the area of a rectangle? Well, we know that the area is equal to length times width. Okay, so x times y. Alright, so to maximize this, what we need to do is get it all in terms of one variable. So we'll get it all in terms of x. So I'm going to take this equation here and solve it for y. So if I subtract 2x to both sides, I get y equals 600 minus 2x. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it in for y. Okay, plug it in for y. And so I get a is equal to x times 600 minus 2x. So a is 600x minus 2x squared so a is two a, a is negative two x squared plus six hundred x. Alright. So now here's our function for the area and we want to maximize the area. So I know that this is the graph of a parabola and I know it goes through 0, 0 because if I plug 0 in for x I get 0 as an answer and it's a parabola that opens downward. Now remember this axis here is A, the area, and this is x, that's the length of this side here. Alright, so I need the maximum area, so our y value is our area, so there's my maximum area. Okay, so all this is is this is the y coordinate of the vertex. Okay, so to, in order to find the y coordinate of the vertex, I need to find the x coordinate here and then plug it back in to get my maximum area. All right, so remember how to find the uh, Remember how to find the vertex when it's in this form. Minus b over 2a is our x coordinate. So minus b over 2a is going to be negative 600 over 2 times negative 2. And that's going to be 150. Alright, so so our x, 
this x value here, okay, that's this value here, which is 150. So I have x is equal to 150, and it is in feet. Okay. And now to find my y coordinate, well, y is equal to, well, here I can find y. I just take the 150 and plug it in here for x. So y is 600 minus 2 times 150, which that's going to be 300 feet. So here's my dimensions. It's going to be 150 by 300. Okay. And then also, it says, what is the largest area that can be enclosed? Well, the largest area, well, I just x, this is x is 150, this is 150, and y is 300. Well, the area is just length times width, so that's 150 times 300. And so the maximum area is just 150 times 300 which is equal to 45,000 and that would be square feet. Alright so I hope this video helped. Uh, so if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright thanks.